You will need a bowl, a brush, any conditioner of your choice, a hairbrush, a hair comb, Fergona Vivids in violet and pink, and also your phone to play any music, a plastic hair cap, and some gloves. So this is everything that you're going to need to create your lavender ombre, so let's get started. So first thing you want to do is shampoo and blow dry your hair. It will look something like this. Be sure not to condition your hair. This is really important just because of the products we will be using. It will grab a whole lot better. Once you're um, done looking at yourself and how crazy you look, go ahead and just brush your hair out. Once you're all done with that, you're going to look something like this. So first we're going to apply our gloves. This is just to protect our hands. Then we're gonna apply conditioner into the bowl. And I fill it up about halfway throughout the bowl. You can add more or less depending on your hair. Then I'm going to add my Pervana Violet and I kind of just squeeze the tube about three times. I find that that is the perfect consistency in the lavender color I'm trying to achieve. Just keep in mind the more you add, the deeper purple it's going to be. Then I'm gonna move on and add some of the pink and I do squeeze the two about two times for this one. The reason why I do this is because when it starts fading out, I like it to fade more into a, of a pink instead of like a gray color. It also gives it more dimension when you're out in the sun. It looks really, really pretty and I'll show you guys towards the end what that looks like or as you guys already seen in the beginning. So once you're done with that, it'll look something like this. Ah! So anyways, let's get started. So first what I want to do is part your hair down the middle. I find this easier for me. Even though I am a licensed professional, I kind of just, this is how I prefer to do it, but you guys can use clips to get your hair out the way. But I like to kind of just start off in the front. The reason why I do that is because I want it to be more pigmented and um, just more vibrant towards the front and kind of just fade out towards the back and the bottom. And you'll see what I mean in a second, but I kind of just do both sides, the top layer, and then I will go through and kind of do three sections. So I do like the left side, the right side, and then the back. Then I like to grab about half inch to one inch sections. This will just ensure the color saturation, which is really important when you're doing these kinds of colors because you don't want your hair to be spotty. You don't want any blonde kind of peeking through or anything like that. And I kind of just saturate it all, run my fingers through it, make sure it's all even. I run my brush through it. And once you have that section complete, you're moving on to the rest of your head. So one section down, or one piece down, and the rest to go. And I'm just going to do the same thing to that whole section of my head. And then I will move on to the other side. I will have this in regular time for you guys, but I will fast forward once I reach the other sections, just because it is me doing the same thing. By the way, you guys, I do want to mention really quickly, if you are trying to achieve lavender hair, it is very, very important that you do it on previously bleached hair or if you're naturally blonde. It needs to be to like a pale blonde level, if that makes any sense, or a level 10 or higher. Um, if you guys are going to a professional, just, you know, I'm sure they will already know, but just let them know, hey, it has to be a level 10 or higher for a lavender or uh, silver or any kind of pastel colors to kind of grab. It's just kind of the rule of thumb. The, if you have any golds or any um, darker blondes in your hair, it's not really going to grab as pigmented and it will fade out much, much quicker. So just be sure that your hair is pretty, pretty light to start off with. Now once I'm done with that, I like to kind of just pull down all of the sections and kind of just run my fingers through it, make sure it is all evenly saturated. This is really important, so make sure you guys take your time on this. You guys, once it is that section is complete, 
You can either choose to clip it up or I decide to leave it down, but that's just because it doesn't bother me when it's down. And now we have the whole rest of the head to go. So I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side. Now this is how I do the back of my hair. You guys can do it into, you know, split that into two sections if you like, but I find like that's just an extra step for me and I'm so used to doing my hair all the time so I'm not, it doesn't really bother me at all that I do it like this. But if it's easier for you guys or you guys just want to make sure that it becomes, um, that it comes out more even, then just go ahead and split that into two sections in the back if you prefer. And I'm kind of just doing the same thing. I'm just running my fingers through it as I apply and then just go ahead and finish that off. Then you want to grab any wide tooth comb and just go ahead and start combing through your hair. And this is just to make sure everything is even and saturated completely. I'm done with that and my bowl is empty. I'm going to go in with the Pravana Violet and just squeeze as much as I want. I'm going to be doing kind of like my root section and this will create the ombre effect. And just go ahead and place that on top of the lavender. This way it ensures that it won't be too, too dark. Um, if you want more of a darker purple, then you can go ahead and just um, not put, put the lavender on that section beforehand and you can just leave it dry and just brush it through again just to kind of create that ombre and so it's just more blended in I guess you can say. And there it is, I did my whole head like that. Then I'm going to go ahead and place my shower cap or plastic cap on and wait about 30 minutes to 1 hour. Once it's time to rinse, you want to go ahead and do cold water only. Do not do hot water. You can either get in the shower if you prefer or you could do it how I did and I just went ahead and, you know, ran the tub and kind of just stick my head in there and just rinse it out. I do use the purple shampoo to help wash it out for those of you that need to shampoo it. And your tub will look something like this. Make sure that the water runs clear once you're all done. And be sure to kind of clean up that purple in the tub because it can stain it. So make sure right away when you guys are done, just kind of put some water over it or bleach it, however you guys uh, want to make sure you guys clean it. So this is how the finished product looks wet. And I'm just going to go ahead and blow dry and I will be right back. So this is the finished product. And again, this is indoor lighting. But as you can see, you see some darker purple, some lavender, some pastel pinks in there. I just really, really adore this color. I love it so much. It just gives it so much dimension so it's not just one flat lavender shade. I will show you guys in a minute what it, what it looks like outside. But this is what it looks like indoor lighting, which I still think is just as gorgeous as when it is outside. Indoor lighting, it does look a little bit more pinkish, but it's probably because of my walls in the bathroom. But I will show you guys outside in just one second. And this is what it looks like outside. Isn't it just a gorgeous, gorgeous lavender color? I just love this combination of all the colors that I use. And I hope you guys try it. If you guys do, go ahead and tag me on Instagram at Armani Amour. I would love to see what you guys do with this color and how it looks on you guys. I just think it's just such a perfect color for spring and summer. And don't forget, you guys, this color will look different in every single, single lighting. And that's kind of what I love about it. Um, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. 
Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, pretty pretty please. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you guys. Bye.